Sock Boy here, and I got a video I want to make real quick um, on my progression. It's moving quite along. Um, I'm up to B now. I've gotten into C. The furthest I've gotten in this account with it um, was in C. Uh, I mean, up to C. I haven't even tried that yet, but I've been farming B, and I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, ever since we got the Snowzilla, he was a big um, game changer when as far as that goes and I was looking to change the uh, base design I was thinking about changing it into the diamond but my town hall is almost level 13 and I think I'm just gonna expand the walls and make it a little bit longer of a walk-in and since I did progress into B uh, I'm gonna keep that set up the way it is and see if I want to change the design after I get uh, two more legendaries one through cards and one through shards so as of right now, we're going to leave it the way it is because we did get to progress and I am farming B now and I just want to do a quick video on that showing that being done because the last time we attempted it was a, pr a complete bust so we're going to redeem ourselves here and show the extra shards that we're getting per run which is pretty cool. Um, yeah guys, I'm, I'm having pretty much pretty good amount of fun with this account um, in contrast to the main account um, the main account of course is going to be my bread and butter but at the same time it's pretty cool it's kind of like replaying the game all over again on hard mode <laughs> um, progression is a lot slower uh, still having fun I'm not farming everything every single day like I should be on this account however I do jump on daily and make sure I do my here be monsters and once I'm able to get into messes where people actually want to stay, I'll be doing that with pugs. I don't find it beneficial to uh, get into a guild that's uh, doing Mesa 1 because I feel like even with the free-to-play, progression is pretty quick. And you don't have to invest that much energy unless you're just starting fresh anyway and you don't have a main guild. Um, just go ahead and... You know, do what you do and fly through as much progression as you can possible. So, the death trap is pretty much a design that is going to last you. I mean, I've got a death trap for my main account. Um, then there's modifications to that uh, that we have also as well. But um, I'm leaving the death trap as one of the main ones and just I'll play on that. Since we have three other setups that we could, in fact, design. Uh, corner base is another main design that people do I'm gonna pretty much be making it my own though I'm not gonna be just copying every single you know base that's out there so you know copy it for you know just to start you off and then play to see what works best for you this game is pretty much designed to where you can't copy somebody stat for stat because um, everybody's hero everybody's legend is gonna be a little bit different you know, your Snowzilla may have a 5 of 5 life drain, while mine has a Berserk, so we just use them in different ways. So you have to understand uh, the game and, and play on what suits you best. So, you know, you just go f take it from there. I mean, obviously there's going to be main general rules for everyone. I mean, Santa Boom is a Santa Boom, but, you know, either way, if you got them, you're good. But, uh, so we're already on B5. And, um, that went pretty quickly. I mean, and that just changed, I don't want to say overnight, but once we got Druid and Snowzilla, it was game over. And, you know, I didn't have super amazing luck on this account. I would say my luck on the account is pretty much average, if not a little bit below average even. And I was still able to pick up the victory on B, progress through changing the base design and leveling up these towers here I loaded them up with some heroes because regardless of how it plays out my guys are going to be capped as of right now because there's just a honor badge issue when you're at this level so if you guys are at town hall level 12 I'm getting to 13 I'm just gonna slap on some more walls uh, I suggest you copy this design go with the death box see how it works um, you want to keep your main important hero in the middle um, the person you don't want to die for me it's my druid uh, but if you have a pumpkin duke or a cupid 
you know, somebody who's really going to boost the team, that's the person you want to be in the very center and then just surround them with the uh, towers and let them do their thing. Um, don't get frustrated or don't feel like, oh, my base design doesn't work for me at all if you're not able to progress quickly because Here Be Monsters is designed for you to progress slowly unless you are a complete free to uh, pay to play player and you're farming your dungeons and you're farming everything you need daily. I mean, you have to be pretty hardcore, pretty devoted to the game to be a quick progressor. So if you're not, if you're more of a casual player, that's cool too. Just uh, stick to what you have and what's working for you for a while and wait for your guys to get a you know higher level. Now, if your guys are much higher level than the waves that are coming in and you're still not progressing, then that's different. You want to take a look at how your design is and maybe you're doing something wrong. Maybe you're not adding the bombs, um, the hero bombs or the regular bomb traps. So, you know, just take a look into that and take it from there, guys. Any questions, concerns, hit me up, let me know. Uh, if you have a question on how your base design should be, um, just leave it on the comments and then I'll take a look and we'll link up.